Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a, another pre-collection review, although for this one they've already launched the pre-men's spring-summer 2017 collection. And this is specifically the Chapman Brothers illustrations. In the spring-summer 2017 runway collection, they featured two colors, the ink and the dune or the ink and the dune which is the white and the very dark navy blue the items I want to talk about though are the ones that are on a damier ebene canvas and I'm gonna start with the large items first and then work my way down the first item that's already available on the website and for purchase is the atlas tote it's not a new silhouette, it's reusing pretty much their standard vertical tote with a crossbody strap. This is the zebra illustration, it's black and white, and then this one has the blue and red stripe pattern. And here's the item number if you want to search for it, N42702. And all these prices are USD, it's $2,220. And just to zoom in a little bit to give you a little more detail on the illustration. It kind of looks like a graphite slash watercolor painting that has been cut out and then screen printed onto the canvas. The next item is the Nil PM. It's like a reporter bag. Again, this is an existing bag silhouette, but this one has the rhinoceros illustration on it and the red and white stripes. And the luggage tag also has the Damier Ebin canvas as well. I did notice that if you go on the US website, their dimensions aren't correct. This bag definitely is not 2 by, two by 8 inches by 1.6 by 4.3 inches. This is also $2,220. And if you look at the... When you click the graphite, it actually doesn't exist, oddly enough. This is the Monogram Eclipse, and that's the Illusion Collection. Next is the Pouchette Jour GM size, and this one has the line illustration with the blue and white stripes. I think this is my favorite illustration from all of the animals. This one is $735. This, I think, is the right dimension, 3.4 by 9.8 inches, which is the standard Pouchette Georgium size, whether it's in canvas or if you choose the Epi leather one. I think they made this for the spring-summer 2015 collection as well when they did the stripes. Next is the Pochette Volga, and this has the rhinoceros one, and I believe the previous one was also on the red and white stripe. So this is a Pochette with a detachable handle. Again, all of these are on the Damier Ibn canvas. This is definitely not the right dimensions because the length is c comparable to a Braza wallet, so it's definitely longer than 3.5 inches. And this one is $660. I think this is this kind of a format is something I'm missing in my collection because I have a couple of these type of longer zip wallets, but I can't carry things that have much depth to them. I can usually just carry sort of a flat wallet, cards, envelopes, things like that, but I can't carry things like my wallet because my key fob is rather thick for my car. And then there are a couple of belts. So there's a rhinoceros with the red and 
also have it in the blue which which is with the line illustration and then next we move to more of these small leather goods this is a zippy organizer with the zebra in the blue and red stripe and it's a thousand dollars and fifty 8.3 inches by 4.3 by 0.8 inches this is the first giraffe piece it's a Brazo wallet so the long vertical wallet and it's seven hundred and fifty dollars three point nine by seven and a half by point eight so earlier when I was talking about the pochette Volga I think the the width of the height of it the longest side is more close to the 7.5 probably like at 8 to 9 inches I'll zoom in on the illustration on this one this one is kind of the giraffe is the most menacing because you don't expect giraffes to have jagged teeth like that and in fact they don't since they're leaf eaters but it has this kind of lizard-like eye jagged teeth and the illustration again looks like a mix of graphite and watercolor it also comes in the multiple wallet with the zebra in the blue and red stripe it's six hundred dollars this is going to be the standard multiple wallet design which they make in just about every type of material it wouldn't be complete without a pocket organizer this is with the rhinoceros in the red and white stripe for $390, item number N63349. Then they've also made two of these square keychains that are on the canvas with the illustration and the stripe. So they have it with the rhinoceros as well as a giraffe. They're both $220. And then the final two pieces are scarves or pocket squares. This one is, I believe this has been, yes, this has been folded. So it's a long scarf. This one is the only one that comes in the Damier graphite background, but it's not on actual canvas. I think this is more true to what the original designs are because it's in a darker background and the illustrations have a it's like a grayish blue color as opposed to a black and white that you saw previously and I personally prefer this color scheme over the Damier Ibin so this is six hundred and fifty dollars item number m78734 this has all the animals which would be a great collector's piece since you don't have to buy multiple pieces to get all of the illustrations. So you have the elephant, which wasn't in, I don't believe it was in the pieces I showed you for the Damier Ibn. There's the lion, there's the giraffe, the zebra, and the rhinoceros. So five animals total. And lastly, there is a pocket square. This one looks like it reminds me of the camouflage colors they had for men's I think in the pre-spring of 2016 collection this has a it looks like a reversed image effect and then Louis Vuitton is written in script alongside some of the illustrations so those are all the pre-collection pieces that I found on the US website so what do you think about this pre-collection do you like how the stripes play with the illustrations on the Damier Ibn canvas. Do you prefer this or do you prefer the ones shown on the runway which is using the monogram background? Like here. My personal opinion is that I like the one in the fashion show better because as, as I was saying I like the illustrations with that blue undertone and I like the way it works with the ink background especially that's definitely my favorite but I do like it on the white background as well which they call Dune 
It's the same color combination they used in the spring summer 2015 when they had the stripes. This, I felt like they're trying to commercialize the illustrations maybe too much. I haven't really seen them expand their limited collection or limited edition line so much as I do here. It's It almost seems like they're trying to sell as much of this collection as possible. I'm personally not as big as a fan on the Damier bin, so I'm partial to that. I do like it with navy, but this all of these pieces have the black background, and the stripe color they use are very vibrant as opposed to a navy or a deep red, which I think I would have preferred. And with the illustrations, I'm not exactly convinced that the black and white works against the Damier Abin canvas because to me, especially when I zoom in, it feels like they put a sticker on it and the sticker is opaque, that's why it has a white background. I know it's obviously not a sticker, it's screen printed on. So that's it, thank you for watching. I'd love to hear what you think about the collection, if there's a piece that you would like to get from this pre-collection or if you're waiting on something from the spring summer 2017 collection. I personally have tried to put an order in for a few of the small leather good items, but they've not been released yet. I think Kim Jones on Instagram announced that the UK will be getting the first pieces the end of this month in November or early December and the worldwide launch will be in early January.